Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Barry X. Today we're reacting to Season 8, Episode 14 of The Vampire Diaries, entitled It's Been a Hell of a Ride. Three episodes remain. I just want to give you guys a heads up about this episode. If there's any moments where, like, the picture goes negative or it cuts out or the audio is a little bit off, um, this file corrupted right at the end of the episode. As I'm about to do a recap, you'll see the cut. And it took a lot of time to figure out a way to get it fixed. Um, I did the same things I tried to do with the episode where Lily died and nothing worked for that episode. Fortunately enough, I was able to salvage this episode and uh, we didn't have to worry about just doing a recap for it. So it is here. It is cut up probably more than the other ones. One of the files, especially the scene that you'll see with Caroline talking to her daughters was like super choppy. So I cut that out. Um, but other than that, hopefully it's a good enough episode. Uh, we have two more episodes remaining. If you guys are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry, in just a few seconds, will be doing his best work behind the scenes. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into the episode. Oh, this is creepy. A little bit. You shouldn't talk to yourself and expect an answer. That way lies madness. Oh, let's speak of the devil. The devil. The devil. What the hell is going on? You're dead. Your body's spent. Right now, you're in the space between spaces. On death's literal doorstep. Call it limbo if you must. No, that makes sense. Kai siphoned me like a juice box. So I'm just assuming that limbo and the other side were just like, just two completely different things. Which I guess makes sense. But at the same time... I guess with that other side that was like the holding place for a while with that destroyed, now they go into like the normal limbo. Because it was like for supernatural people, but now they have a norm their own like normal limbo. Why are you here? I want the Ashen Dagger. The Ashen One Dagger. No. Kill me. Devil well, Dagger. You're out of luck, because I don't have it. And last time I checked, I wasn't your errand boy anymore. What happens if I refuse to play fetch? In layman terms, you I drag your soul to hell. Go for it. I'd rather burn than serve you for another second. I believe I have something that will change your mind. Probably got something to do with little Elena. Little Elena. Maybe, I don't know. Honey. There's nothing you can say. I understand, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't try. That's a shame. A good human skill is knowing when to shut up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You killed Enzo, Stefan. Yeah? You killed Enzo. Twice. And I will spend the rest of my human life living with that guilt. Looking for ways to make up for my actions. Two times. I'm leaving town. And I know it may not mean much to you, but I'll be doing everything I can to atone. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay, bye. Safe travels. Yeah, later, Tater. Bit harsh, love. I didn't know you were here. Well, when you're in this state, it seems to be quite easy. He's earned it. I hate him. Yeah, you also hated Damon, too. Look at that goofy little picture. Look, you're not going to talk me out of leaving town, so you might as well just save your breath. Kate has Elena, Stefan. What? How? Huh? Long story. Cliff notes. I had a nasty run in with our old friend Kai Parker. Right. It didn't end well. What are you talking about? Kai's dead. Ish. He was alive enough to screw me over and kidnap Elena's coffin. And he turned her over to Cade? Apparently. But Kai, being Kai, tried to cheat the devil. Kept an ace up his sleeve, and now Cade wants that, too. In exchange for Elena. Putting aside yep. the fact that you were going to blow out of town without having an epic bro moment. Hope wherever you're going can wait. Because I, I need your help, brother. Yeah. I like the, like the stutter on the eye. And this all-powerful heretic, right? And you, you're just a puny vampire. Uh-oh. Yeah. You can't siphon me. I'm human. 
Are yeah. you serious? Welcome home, that dummy. Insane. That's like, like major life change. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Turn your life around, you buddy. I'll tell you what, I changed my mind. You can have the dagger. <laughs> kind of figures gonna stab you. Killing Kate's not the only thing this dagger is capable of. Because when you kill the devil, you become the devil. Hell goes along. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to say some stupid shit. Speaking of which, any last words before I send you there myself? Damon. Damon. Oh, that is so sweet. I'd be sure to tell your brother that you were thinking of him when you die. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag snap, 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 a roo. Snap, 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 and oh, so snap, a roo. I want to put in a song. You idiot. I felt that way about Elena. I need Stefan just as much as she needed you. Mm. And Lizzie and Joseph Ours. too. Bags. Uh, enough about Stefan already. Stefan. What you guys need is someone who can explain to you what's going on with your Gemini Coven twins. Then why not forgive Stefan? Mm. Mm. Do you really have to ask? Stefan did horrible things. Sure. I mean, he was a servant of the devil. But I served Kate too. I took so many lives. Even before that, death followed me around wherever I went. When my humanity was off, I was willing to let you die. Yeah. Your point. You continue to love me, to hold me here. You know, now you have the capacity to forgive. I just need time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But take it from me. If you hold on to hating him, it will eat at you. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. And I, we all know. Oh, man. Look at this shot right here. Fuck. We all. We all know. Right. I like the shot. We all know. What vampires do with their humanity switch off. Bonnie and I get he killed your level. Fuck. Hey, for carry the pitchforks. Maybe this is just his way of being dramatic. True. Things have a way of getting bloody with Cade. We may not have another chance, so. You want to tell me why you're planning on leaving town? I can't no. atone for my mistakes if I keep making them. I love her. Then I don't want to drag her you're down. You're an like idiot. Me. You're an well, idiot. That's the way you see it. What are you doing out here with me? I've always been the albatross around your neck. You're my brother. Well, let's be clear. This is about more than just you and me. I'm the one that compelled Matt Donovan to ring that bell. Kate is free because of me. Here you go with this. And that's why I have to kill him. Just ring around the rosy the plan, bullshit. Man. Yeah, well, it is now. Not kill anything happened to her. Or you. This motherfucker had the little vervinium. Thought you might feel that way. Vervampium. All the bullshit ready to go because you know what? They just always have it. Yeah, get your goddamn dragon glass. Stefan, you're human. I'm almost worried you'll catch pneumonia and die in this very cave. <laughs> what are the odds of you killing me? Uh, yeah, Batman, what you gonna do, brother? Right this second, not very good. Or six. Seven. Just do it, dumbass. You're getting better all the time. Eight. Nine. Hello? Daddy. Are you supposed to be asleep? Reaper, I really heard a crash. And mommy's not here. We're scared. We're hiding under your bed. Oh, shit. Die. A heroic effort. Damn, dog. Bell stopped ringing. Ain't that some shit? Ain't punch you hard as shit, this brother. This kind of violence. Yeah. It's personal. Direct. Imagine being the devil and you resort to fucking throwing fisticuffs. I will give you one soul. I knew that shit was about to come. No! Ah! 
Bonnie, Bonnie, hey, hey. Oh. You okay? Something's happening. Something yeah. wrong. No. No. What, what, what happened? I have visions, fire, Elena's coffin. You're not the only person I have a psychic connection to. I think Elena's in trouble. You know, shit. Where are you going? I don't know, but I know I have to go. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's just a soul trapped in a fucking log cabin. Abraham Lincoln will be just fine. The question is, which soul will you say? Oh, shit. Elena's or your brother's? I suggest you answer soon, or the flames will make the decision for you. David, you know what to do. No, I can't. I'm not saying the words. Fine, then I will. Cade, take me. Damn, you said shut your dumb ass angel up. angel on his shoulder. Damon! Choose. Don't choose. I choose me. Ooh. Stefan's mortal. Ooh. He's lived a supremely messed up life. His soul's already damned. Take me. You'll get us both eventually. I have to say. I'm intrigued. We'll act now because it's a one-time offer. Yo, he actually just fucking did it! The moon! Oh, fuck! Nah, see, I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it then. It, it was too quick of a cut away from that. I'm not buying it. Nah. I ain't buying it. Nope. I'll live in denial. Nah. Hell nah. Shut your dumb ass up! Come out where Uncle Kai can see you. So I guess this is where the tragic tale of Damon Salvatore and look on the bright side. Your suffering is just beginning. He needs the Michael Jackson shoes when he do that lean shit. That's what he needs. Well, that was anticlimactic. We They're safe. Except for Damon. Damon's very dead. What? <laughs> Relax. You share my psychic gift. So if you'll just open your mind. Should be here, uh. Let him go. <laughs> and why should I do that? Damon sold his soul to me. Like you said, we share the same gift. I won't let you take him without a fight. We're about to get some Harry Potter Voldemort shit. But I warn you, if you attempt to keep Damon's soul on this plane, your mind will surely shatter. I'm stronger than that shit. Please, let go, Bond. Or I will. Damon, don't you dare. Stop it. Oh, you coughing? Go. Yeah. Oh, you first. With your bitch ass. The devil dagger. That is sick. Uh, Hopefully, oh, Stefan may have died. He just hit his head. Fucking neck snap, probably. What about Damon, though? Is Damon there, too? Maybe? No, it's like it's just them two. Damn devil dagger. He just killed Wayne Brady. Can you believe that shit? Because I'm not going to stop trying until you do. Am I late for the group hug? Damon? It's me, Damon Salvatore. You okay? Yeah. That little psychic blast must have blew me back into my body. <laughs> nah. Oh, Stephen can actually see him. 
me do the dirty work next time, okay? That's a deep hug, man. That's a real genuine ass hug. Yeah, that hug, oof. You're crazy if you think leaving Mystic Falls is the answer. Right. But it'll ever be clean. But I don't need some spirit journey with a bunch of strangers to convince me that my redemption is within reach. I just need the people I love. Man, that, 100%. List is short, but profound. True. You're right at the top. Alongside a great girl I hope to marry one day. Don't walk away from your list because you don't think you're worth it. Facts, brother. Like I said, brother. It's your call. It's your call. I love they say he's at the top of the list. Stefan. Why are you... Marry me. What? I don't expect you to believe that I'm sorry. Or that <laughs> I love you just because I say it. Fuck! I have to show you. Yes. Marry me. I thought you had to figure things out. Nah, I did. Yep. I figured out that I'm an idiot. Yeah, we could have told you that. Calypso's totally back. Maybe even blind. Yeah. I couldn't see that everything that I was looking for was right here. It means I get to help my wife raise her two beautiful children and their children after that. It means I get to fight to be the man that you deserve mm. until the day that I die. Mm. I love you. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, of course. Fell for what? Yes. You came. I put some champagne on ice. Oh. What's wrong? I just spoke to Kai. You didn't destroy Hell. In fact, thanks to you killing Cade, Hell's never been in better hands. What are you talking about? If Cade's not running Hell, who is? Think of the only person worse than Cade. Think of the only person worse. The person who knows where all your weak spots are. Who wants to hit you there over and over again. Who will stop at nothing to make sure that you and everyone you love suffer. The one who wants revenge for what we did to her. Don't you dare say it, Bonnie. Listen to me. We won. You hear me? Don't you dare say that name! The myth. The legend. The baddest bitch of all. <laughs> Catherine. Winner! <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Bonnie. No, Bonnie. 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 Ah! We're toast. Well, you're done for. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Catherine. Desperate to protect Elena, Damon and Stefan hatch a perilous plan to destroy Cade and Hell along with him, once and for all. Let me go ahead and put this out here real quick to make this perfectly known that this Catherine thing may have been better if the show was longer. There are two episodes left in this show. Okay, so let's just say it this way. The Catherine thing. It'd be better if it was longer, a longer, a longer season. They can, they can bring this stuff like that in. Bring the people back. It's a little bit of fan service to kind of wrap up the show. There's got to be consequences. I don't know. It's just what makes shows feel. It's how you feel danger and you feel presence. Like Damon stabbing himself. They didn't put enough emphasis on him laying right there. So it's like, oh, okay, he'll be back. That's what the show set up. That oh, Okay, he'll be back. It takes you out of moments that could be super impactful in a show. Um, put it to you this way. 
let's let's take that scene for example. Here's how I change that scene. Me, the dude from YouTube. All right, here's what we do. We have Damon stab himself, right? Falls to the ground, turns gray. Stefan sees it. Cade's happy. Kind of have that moment of him. Cade's gone, whatever. Then you have Stefan crawl over to his brother. Don't cut back to the other bullshit. Have him crawl over. The show's about them. Have him crawl over to his brother. Pick his brother up. Hold him. Take that stake out. Have him start to mourn his brother. And then as he's crying and as he's in this deep mourn, looks up and sees the dagger. Just like kind of shot how he had. Very angrily looks at the dagger. Gently sets his brother down. Makes his way towards the dagger. Cut the second he pulls the dagger out of the coffin. That simple. Or flip it. Flip it. Don't have... Do one of two things. Don't have Stefan mourn or do this. Have him do that. Have the have Cade see him mourn for his brother. Have Cade leave while he's mourning. And the second he mourns, have the tears stop. Have Stefan get up and take the dagger. And then end up having it revealed that that was their plan all along. That they, they were one step ahead of Cade. They knew he would set the thing on fire. And he knew he would do this and do this to Stefan. And then Damon knew if he sacrificed himself... Whatever, maybe some sort of intuition conversation with Bonnie of his body getting blown back. Something along those lines to have it be a setup. You could do one of those two things. I prefer the first one. It's more emotional. The second one have a funnier payoff, a bigger reveal, showing how badass these brothers are. It's the end of the fucking show. You can have like, oh, they're a step ahead. But no. No, it's not what we got. Catherine's back, though. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming... Nina was actually in the coffin for that one. I don't know any other shots of her being like that. So uh, she probably gets credited for that appearance. But with Catherine being back and then Elena will have Nina back for the last two episodes more than likely. Um, so yeah, Catherine being the leader of hell is kind of funny. That is kind of enjoyable, but it's, I don't think it's needed. The next episode is entitled, We're Planning a June Wedding. They gonna get married, y'all. Listen, weddings don't end good in this show. It's like wrestling. There's never been a good wrestling wedding other than one. Macho Man Randy Savage and, and Miss Elizabeth. Well, anyways, links to everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.